Hi, Hi Kitty Wing Crew. We're so excited you're here with us. We're going to do a reading of the book I wrote, An Above Par Day. My name is Lindsay Farley, but I would never do this reading without my better half. Hi, I'm Juliana, and my better half, Ozzy. We definitely need Ozzy to help us read this story. An Above Par Day. Read by the author. <laughs> Each morning, Liam's eyes blink open to his most prized possessions shimmering in the early sunlight. I'll get you back on the course soon enough, Liam whispers. Then his mind wanders to the last time he used his dad's old clubs in public and failed miserably. I'm working on it, I promise. Let's just make sure you can see the pictures. Sorry, Ozzy, I'll make sure you can see Thank them Thank you. Liam is obsessed with golf. His golf magazines are dog-eared and saved. He barely blinks while watching the tournaments on TV in fear of missing any tips. And his putting green has weathered many practice shots. But almost all of his golfing happens alone in his house. In his house? Mm-hmm. So you can have like a putting green in your house, Ozzy. Wow. Sometimes in moments of bravery, Liam hoists his bag on his shoulder and walks to the front door. Unfortunately, his courage always seems to disappear before he heads out. He doesn't want to go unless he knows he'll be perfect at it. What do you mean perfect? Nobody's perfect. And that's true, Ozzy. But Liam doesn't know that. He thinks he can be perfect. Uh, How about just a few holes together? Liam, let's invite some of your friends and go to the range. Come on, Liam. This course is the best. But perfectionism always seems to creep in. One more magazine, a few more swings, it might be too cold out. Liam always has his excuses ready. Until one day, when he didn't. It's beautiful out. Everyone is coming, Mom says as she shuffles the family out the door. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Golf is fun, Ozzy. I bet you would love it. Liam's driver glistens in the sun as he sets up on the majestic first hole. His hands stop shaking long enough to tuck in his shirt, pull out his favorite ball, and balance it on the tee. Do you see that ball, Ozzy? What's on it? It's a smiley face. Ah. Talk about positivity on the course. He's kept that ball in its box for months, waiting for this moment. This round will clearly be what a Liam's imagination has pictured a million times. Perfection, here we... Flop. <laughs> oh, sorry, Alexia whispers. She's giggling at him. You won't be giggling for long, Liam mumbles. Whoosh! More of Alexia's giggles pound on his eardrums. Stay focused, Liam tells himself. Uh -huh. Good job, Liam. Mm -hmm. Way to go. Feet shoulder width apart. Check. Driver lined up with his ball. Check. Deep breath and relaxed shoulders. Double check. Whack! His ball spins and flies through the air. It hits a tree, skips over the sand trap, and splash! Liam's heart and prized ball quickly sink. Wait a minute, it's in the water. That's good. No, water is not good in golf. Oh, man. It's fun other times, but not with golf. Dad swings perfectly. Alexia and Mom take their turns. Their balls magically land within two feet of one another. Then there are three not four, shiny spears glistening on the fairway. Liam drops his head and his new boring white ball in the water hazard spot and tries to focus. As slowly as mud, he makes his way to the green. Finally, he hears the blink. This is nothing like the tournaments on TV, Liam grumbles. Oh no. By the end of the first hole, they all add up their shots. Liam tries to remember each horrible swing. Everyone is playing better than me, Liam mumbles under his breath. Oh, Liam, you're doing great. That's right, Ozzy. Thank you for that reminder. The next several holes are more of the same disappointment for Liam. Mom, Dad, and Alexia keep exchanging compliments and laughter, but Liam can't stop replaying his many, many, many shots out of the sand. A series of poofs of golden glittering sand. I love sand. <laughs> sand is fun at the beach and at the <laughs> playground, but 
not on the golf course. Oh man, water and sand. <laughs> I know golf is a little complicated, Ozzy, isn't it? I'm not sure I've ever had a better chip than the one on the third hole, Mom says. Well, what about the ball Mom lost in the rough? Liam quietly wonders. Sounds like Mom is focusing on the positive. Good job, Mom. Yeah. As they round the corner, the snack cart pulls up next to them. Good timing. I think we all deserve a little something for our amazing efforts so far, Mom says. Not me. I don't deserve it, Liam whispers to himself. Hey, bud, you know, I've been playing golf for 27 years, and I've never come close to playing like the pros. But I happily come back. I never remember how close I was to par. I just remember the memories. I'm not sure this is a memory I want to keep, Liam grumbles. But memories happen. Time to try again, I guess. Oh, I like says. Liam's dad. Yeah, he's so kind. He remembers that the sport is about having fun. Yeah. Hey, Ozzy, you ready? Ready. Feet shoulder width apart. Check. Driver lined up with the ball. Check. Deep breath and relax shoulders. Double check. Whack. Oh, wow. Did you all see that? Liam exclaims. Liam still scores well above par on the last hole, but none of them can stop talking about Liam's drive, Liam included. I couldn't even see the ball went so far, Alexia cheers. I think you will outdrove your dad, Mom says with a wink. Can we come here again next weekend? I bet I'll have another good shot. And probably a few really bad ones in between, Liam says with a laugh. Turns out above par isn't a bad way to end a round. Yay! Yay! Thank you, Lindsay. And so um, listeners, too, you can always go in the back and see their fun, complete scorecard. And then you can talk about all these different ways that math comes up in golf. And another important thing, we obviously love math here at Kitty Wing Crew. Yeah. But what else, Ozzy, do you think Liam learned about in this book? Well, I think he learned how to talk positively about himself. And not everything is about being perfect. Oh, I would agree with that. Ozzy, do you ever talk, do self, you know, positive self-talk with yourself? Oh, yeah. Me and Sammy the Seahorse like to use positive talk all the time. It makes the day so much better. I bet it does. Can you give us an example? Like if you're swimming and you're having a hard time swimming, like your tentacles aren't going the way you want? Oh, yeah. Sometimes, because I have eight tentacles, I flip upside down and they fall over and I say, Deep breath, flip <sighs> over, and it's so much better. Yeah, and you say, see, I can do this. Yeah, and sometimes I stumble on the coral, but I know to get back up yep. and keep swimming. And that's just like something else Liam learns about, which is resilience. Like, as he was saying, if you fall down, you make a mistake, something goes wrong, pick yourself back up and keep on swimming. Because you got this, Kitty Wing Crew. Absolutely. And thank you so much for listening. And if you have the book, please send us a picture yes. at contactkittywink.com. Contactkittywink at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for listening.